Greetings panel, we are from St. Joseph's Private School, Kuching, and we consist of three members, me, Isaac, Claire, and Joey. There's no point denying that our mother nature is hurting. Here are some phenomena that happened recently. With all this, it is clear that we have to put more attention to environmental issues to increase our environmental awareness. Hence, more science-based studies and researches have been carried out to solve environmental trends. How then? Does science help to save the environment? Firstly, what is this green building that we normally hear about? Is it a building that is green in colour? Of course not. In short, a green building is a building that reduces or eliminates negative impacts in its design, construction and operation. Now, like all other creations in life, there are a few distinctive features which make a building green. This includes the efficient use of energy such as water, solar and many others. Pollution and waste reduction measures are also another important aspect together with the enabling of reuse and recycling. Green buildings have been known to provide good indoor environmental air quality, therefore the use of materials that are non-toxic, ethical and sustainable are vital, not to mention also the consideration of environment in its design, construction and operation are equally important as well. Ever since the first green building that emerged around the 70s, green buildings have been playing an important role in saving the environment while also improving life quality. An example would be the Pixel Building in Melbourne, Australia. Next is the discovery of renewable energy. So today, my main topic will be solar panel. Solar panel is a technology to convert sunlight into electricity. It was an idea discovered by a physicist in France. He observed photovoltaic effect, which is a process of producing voltage or electric current when exposed to light or radiant energy. So how does this structure look like? It is actually a series of silicon crystalline cells sandwiched between glass plate and a rain polymer plastic bag sheet separated within an aluminum frame. How does it set the environment really? We all know that solar power is a carbon dioxide free power source. So because of this technology, we are able to reduce the emission of carbon dioxide in the air and in the long run, it reduces the impact of air pollution and of course, most importantly, global warming. Lastly, gasification. In Malaysia alone, we produce over 38,000 tons of waste daily. Organic materials in landfills decompose and produce methane, a very potent greenhouse gas. Gasification turns waste into renewable energy. Unlike incineration, gasification won't create toxic ash and hazardous chemicals. How does this work? A highly controlled amount of oxygen or steam is injected so that it chemically reacts with waste carbon molecules, turning it into an energy-dense synthetic gas, which is a gaseous mixture of carbon monoxide, hydrogen, and other elements. This synthetic gas can be converted into high-value products like diesel fuel, hydrogen fuel, or ethanol. Make no small plans for the planet. That's all from us. Thank you.